David, are we on Instagram world? It's, it's in the process, so yes. Okay. We're gonna wait to see people getting on right now on Instagram and Facebook. Everyone, we're really excited to be connecting with you in about 10 minutes. I'm a very, very lucky person. I get to be with these three incredible goddess warrior healers. And we are going to be going through a 90 minute um, mastery class, a free mastery class. So I'm so excited that we're broadcasting live stream and get to share it with you. Super, super excited. Um, you know, those of you that are on Instagram, like share where you're, share where you're from, post in, uh, post where uh, you're coming from in the world right now. Look at this, see where I see this right now as well. Can you guys tell um, if it's on Instagram like right now or? It is, I see, it? I see you live on, on Instagram. Oh, cool, cool. So awesome. So those of you that are starting to come on in, and, and I'm telling you, we're, we're about to begin in about nine minutes. So uh, this is the right time and the right place to be on social media um, <laughs> for sure. But, uh, but cheer where you're from and, uh, and thanks for, uh, for joining us. We are about to uh, begin a, uh, a master class called Evolve Your Mind, Change Your Life. We're gonna be sharing this incredible behind the scenes process on how to connect with your subconscious mind, how to understand your subconscious mind, how to transform your subconscious mind. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. How's it going in Oak Island, Sharon? It is absolutely gorgeous here today. It was like a perfect summer morning at the beach. So the uh, humidity was low first thing in the morning. It's shooting up now, but it's a summer day at the beach. So it's wonderful. So I feel really blessed Amazing. about where you are, Dr. Mary. I'm in Frisco, Texas, just north of Dallas. And it is hot <laughs> as it always is at the end of August. My poor grass is like... <laughs> <laughs> having a hard time but we're accepting of all of the seasons and cycles right <laughs> yeah amazing but it's a gorgeous sunny day yeah and Paige you're in Colorado I'm in Boulder and the mountains have never looked sweeter I'm so spoiled by my view and just the sunshine that's why I moved out here and strangely it's been like the wettest summer that we've had but we need it we need the rain and it's just cleansed everything and I'm so grateful amazing yeah amazing and i'm in the windy city of chicago and uh and it's also hot it is muggy but it's great i've been riding my bike like a beast lately and so i just sweat like a wild man and i love it <laughs> i love it it's so good my body just loves the heat and i love the cold too you know i'm getting into it yeah. I'm going to be in Boulder for the first time in September. I'm coming in for a workshop. So I'm excited to get to experience Boulder Page. That'll be my first time there. So come see excited. me. Come see me. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, just it's going to be absolutely beautiful. There's there's just an enchantment here. I was talking about it with somebody the other day. There's something magical energetically that just reminds me of my inner child. And I just I can't run from it. It's so, so special. Wonderful. I'm excited. You will love it, Sharon. It is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. Oh, excellent. excellent. In the entire world. Oh, I love it. That makes me so excited. Oh, Shuli's here from Brussels. Phenomenal. People are starting to get on. Hi, Shuli. So good. Happy that you're with us. Awesome. Well, well, well. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, so people are getting on the Zoom starting to fill up here. And as you're coming on, cheer where you're from, just like my friend Shulamit, who's in, in Belgium. Ellen Welks in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Hi, Ellen. Ellen, thanks for all your help in marketing this fabulous opportunity today. We love and appreciate you, Ellen. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Somebody has their hand raised. I'll, I'll take a question before we get going. <laughs> Hi, Linda. 
Linda, do you, have, do you have a question, Linda? No, I was just saying good morning. Good uh, morning. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Linda, where are you from? Naples, Florida. Oh, awesome. I love Naples. Going down Alligator Alley to get to Naples. It is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, well, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for doing this. Oh, what an honor. What an honor. Tuche's here from Turkey. Yay! Welcome, Tuche. How awesome. So, David, is this also on Facebook? Yes, it's on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Oh, wow. Wow, fabulous. Can you believe that? Well... We got Linda and Pam and Casey and another Pam, uh, same Pam. Welcome to all of you that are joining us here now. We're so excited to be with you. Such a thrill and a delight for us. Yeah, it is. It really is such an honor to be able to connect at this level with so many people around the world and deliver a really important message that I know over the next 90 minutes is going to be, it is going to be a real power packed time together. So thank you for everyone who has got their early bird seats right now and came on in. And those of you that are joining as we're talking right now, feel free to share this with other people. Let them know, don't miss, don't miss the train. It is, we're taking off in six minutes and there's still time to be on board. I see Dr. Norma has joined us from Greenville, South Carolina. We know it's hot there. Pamela's here from Belleville. All right. Hey, Casey Clark. Hi, Pam Ela. So cool. Amazing. Hi, Gabby, Jen, Lisa, Helene. So happy to see all of you. So grateful to connect. It's just so warming to see everyone coming together to just create some sustainable changes and be supportive and create ripples in the collective. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's so cool. So cool. You know, one real silver lining with the pandemic is that we've learned how to really connect um, virtually in ways that we wouldn't otherwise have pushed ourselves to do. So based on the fact that we've been pushed into it, we get to have these rich moments of dialogue with people all over the world. And that really excites me. I was resistant to virtual connections for so long. And Dr. Darren pushes my envelope every chance he gets. And he pushed and pushed and pushed. And and it's been such an amazing blessing for me to be able to connect with people in this way. So that for me is a real bright side of the current set of circumstances that we find ourselves in in the world is that we know that we can connect and this is a, a really rich way to do it. So it thank is. you, Dr. Darren, for always pushing the envelope. Well, I, it is the universe that does it. It really, and um, we bend our knees and we ride these waves. And what's incredible about the lifeline technique that you three are masters of is that it can be done with anyone anywhere. And that's, that's, that is the wonder and the awesomeness of it. So no matter who's out there and where people are at, people can create great change and connect in this, in this awesome way. So good. It is. Who would have ever thought when I was eight years of age in third grade that we'd be doing things like this, right? right. Sure. right. You know, it's just, it's a whole brave world. So we got a minute until we start, until we launch. Super excited. You know what? Um, I'm gonna share my screen and um, get it rocking and rolling here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Tammy. So happy you guys are here. Ready to rock it out.
You ready, my friends? We're ready. It is go time. It is go time. David, are you recording this? There we go. So I want to give everyone a big, warm welcome. Welcome to Evolve Your Mind, Change Your Life. Three phases to take you from stuck and settling to super conscious and soaring. I right now am with three of my very favorite people in the entire world. Sharon Faw, Dr. Mary Alexander, and Paige Frazone. And I are gonna take you on a magical journey. So thank you so much for being here. The next 90 minutes might just be 90 minutes that absolutely changes your life in an incredibly positively empowering way. So we'd like to begin our journey with a question. And I'd like you to pull out something to write with and to write on because this is gonna be interactive. This is gonna be an action-oriented master class, okay? And the question is, is there an area of your life where you feel stuck, where you struggle in a never-ending loop? You just can't seem to get past your health, your relationships, your family, your job, is there an area? Is it your past? Is it your dream? Is there an area of your life where you feel stuck and you struggle in the same reactive loop? And take this moment and just acknowledge where your mind takes you, what you think about, who you think about, and write that down on the piece of paper in front of you. Write that down. Just write down a word that that represents. Okay? Great job. Great job. That's a very important thing. You'll understand why in just a bit. So what we're going to show you is how you can create deep change not just change, deep change. You're about to learn how to make the ultimate subconscious shift from struggling and stuck to the fullest expression of being alive. And we're gonna teach you how to apply the three phases of the lifeline technique. And this will forever change the way you view your health, your body's ability to heal, and how you view life. So, Here's a little carrot for you. Stay with us to the end. There's gonna be some special bonuses for those of you that decide to ride this wave with us. You're gonna have some bonuses at the end that you're gonna be so grateful for as a result. Also, you know what? Because this is gonna be chock full of amazing information and it's we're gonna go granular, we're gonna go really into details, we're gonna go into the big picture, you're going to start to bridge the gap, turn off all distractions. Multitasking is the big lie. So if you've got a phone that's on, turn it off. If you've got browsers that are up, shut them down. Let's focus in together. So let's begin, my friends. Let's begin with teaching these beautiful people that are joining us, our friends from around the world. Let's begin with a five-minute subconscious mind hack. Okay. You ready? We're ready. Let's do this thing. So Sharon, bring us into these four steps for hacking our subconscious mind, the observation, discernment, intention, imagination. Bring us on in my friend. Oh, what a fabulous opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Darren. I too am thrilled to be here today with all of you, everyone that's joined us and everyone that's going to be watching the recording. We're so happy to be together today. And the subconscious mind hack is 
uh, the first step is about observing. So as you look at that piece of paper and the area that you wrote in your life that you know that you're stuck, you know that you're str struggling, it's a familiar pattern that you find yourself in. As you take a look at, at that and you observe that issue in your life, I invite you to begin to become aware of the emotions, the energy that's in motion or the emotions that are attached to that situation and circumstance. So as I look at my piece of paper, I immediately wrote down fear of failure. That is a familiar pattern for me. It shows up over and over in my life. And if I could change that something in my life, I would really choose to change that. And as I, as I consider this fear of failure, it makes me feel really anxious. And I'm gonna write down anxiety as the emotion that comes up for me in that space. And I invite each of us that are doing this together to do the same thing. Look at your stuckness, write down what emotion is there for you, and then let's get really clear. We want to be able to begin to become aware of how big that is for us. So on a scale of zero to 10, zero is nothing. You wouldn't have even written it down. And 10 is it's so intense, you'd rather just leave the earth and continue to have to deal with this. And so we want to rate that. So as I look at the anxiety that I've written down, I'm going to rate that at a seven, a seven out of 10. So each of us do the same thing. And I just asked Dr. Mary in this moment, what did you write down, Dr. Mary, that you'd like to see as a change, something you've been stuck in? Yeah, so I wrote down relationship. And as I think about that and just let that come to the forefront, let all the things rise up, the, the emotion that is really dominating is a sense of sadness. Um, and I, I rated that at a four. Beautiful. Excellent. Just like Dr. Mary and I have done, we invite you to do the same thing and get really clear in it. And that completes step number one of the subconscious mind hack. And Dr. Mary, would you lead us through this step number two? Yeah. Awesome. I love step number two. It's so important because as we look at what we wrote down, it is so easy to then judge ourselves for the Ooh. feeling like, oh, I shouldn't be feeling this. I, you know, I look around, I should just be grateful. No, this is the time to really just take a look in the mirror and say, this is going on. So here's how we discern. We ask something called the truth question. And it's called the truth question because everyone answers the same. Here it is. If you could, Sharon, Paige, Dr. Darren, if you could consciously choose your experience, choose to create your life, would you ever wake up in the morning and say, oh yeah, I can't wait to feel sadness at a four out of 10. Or Sharon, you can't wait, right? To feel anxiety at a seven out of 10. Paige, would you ever choose to create your life experiencing what you wrote down? Dr. D, would you ever choose it? I'm gonna say a big oh, hell no. Right, hell no. Hell no. Hell no, I would choose no. it. Never. So, right, so now we can immediately remove the judgment. We're not choosing this, friends. So we know where it's coming from. What is not a conscious choice, that conscious part of the brain, which we're really gonna get into, we know that it is a reaction. We're living lives of reaction. And so now we know. So now we can go into step number three and figure out what it is we do choose. Right on. So Paige, take us from the reaction to action. Now that we've paid attention with observation, now we get to set the intention, the third step for hacking the subconscious mind. Absolutely. So now that we know what we're not choosing, we get to make a different choice. And this is how we bring the invisible realm into the visible realm. So we're going to drop into the heart. Okay. The heart always knows your next best step. It's so much more powerful than the mind. And so we got to train the mind to jump on board with the heart. This is super important. There's two golden rules when it comes to setting an intention. The first golden rule is that we're going to focus on where you're going, not what we're running away from, escaping or avoiding. We do not want to manifest something that we're afraid of or lacking, that we perceive that we're lacking. So we're going to focus on the future, okay? The second golden rule is that we're going to claim this desire, whatever it is we're about to find out, as if you're already there. And if you're already there, you could claim it by saying, I am blank, whatever that desire is. So everybody right now with this, I love you hand posture, I invite you to go into your beautiful heart. Dr. Mary, Dr. D and Sharon, you can close your eyes. If you're comfy, I want you to tune into your life right now. Everybody here. I want you to turn, tune into your heart space. 
and just drop in and be very internal as you locate that health portal or that relational portal or that financial portal, whatever it is, and now shift your focus. We're looking to activate a chemistry, a physical feeling. If you had a menu of infinite possibilities in front of you right now, and you do, what is it in this moment that your heart desires to feel? That's the question. Sit with it for a moment. You will receive. Dr. D, what does your heart desire for you to feel right now? I got it. It came to me right away. Leading from my heart. Leading from my heart. So beautiful. And if you are already there, Dr. D, you'd be able to claim it. I invite you to repeat three times out loud. I am leading from my heart. 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 Infinite living gratitude. Fantastic. Great job. And so this has set the energy in motion. This is where we're about to go. So for the fourth step, the imagination, Dr. D, I invite you to just carry us home here. All right. We're bringing it on home. So, you know, I'm, I'm building upon the pillars of observation, discernment, intention. We're hacking the subconscious mind. We now have a GPS. We now know where we're going, where we're growing. You've created a focal point and you know that what you focus on grows. What you're gonna learn here in just a bit is that the subconscious mind will pull you into the deep waters of fear. So the next step is about, instead of being drawn into the fear-based imagination, this is about a love-based imagination. Yeah. And Sharon, Mary, Paige, and all of you right now, are you open? Are you ready? Are you willing to use your imagination, my friends? Are you? Yes, yeah. 100%. Yes. So let's do it. Let's just open up this Walt Disney imagination and see yourself living your dream. I'm seeing myself leading from my heart and I'm noticing my body. How does that feel? How does it feel? I feel full of love and light. Full of love and light. Dr. Mary, how does it feel to imagine? What's your intention? I am what? My intention that my heart spoke was I am loving and loved. And when I imagine that, it feels like divine truth. Feel that divine truth. Sharon, how does it feel? My feeling is enthusiastic and my I am statement is confident. I am confident, feeling enthusiastic. And feel that vibration. The feelings that we get are the healing that is beginning right now. That is medicine, that's mind medicine, and that is chemistry on a cellular level that is going on because you just hacked your subconscious mind. Now, what's so beautiful is if we just focused with our I am intentions from the rest of the day out, and that's all we did, and we said, hey, my friends, go have a great rest of your day, you would have begun a great day, but there's way more, there is way more. So jump in the comments, share your I am blank feeling blank, just like Sharon, just like Mary, just like Paige and I, what are your I am blank feeling intentions? Share that in the chat. We wanna hear where you're going, where you're growing, what the vibration is for you, right? Share those in the intention. I am confident, feeling enthusiastic. I'm confident, feeling light. Great job, Sarah Malinowski. That is awesome. That is awesome. Beautiful. I am pure love, feeling expansive and open. M. Torres, I'm abundant, feeling stable in peace. Beautiful, Laura. I am expressing beautifully and effortlessly, feeling empowered. Wow, they're flying in. Nancy Lawhead, I am calm in my soul, feeling peaceful. This is the vibration. And now that we know who you really are, De Dalila Fritz, I am love feeling closest. Now that we know who you really are, we can begin the journey for creating and manifesting deep change. Radmila, good job. So maybe you're here. Maybe you showed up because you want to change your health. You want to change the chronic pain, symptoms, and disease physically and mentally that's going on. Or maybe you're here for reason number two, that you want to change your relationships and how you interact with your environment. You want to change the stress in your life that shows up 
as anxiety and depression, drama and trauma, loss and shock, anger and unworthiness, grief and overwhelm. Or maybe you want to live your dream. You want to step off the deep end and you want to change your lens of perception and create clarity on what it means to live a thriving life. And living a, a thriving life means saying, hell no to the pain, fear, and stress and the reactive patterns of your subconscious mind and heaven, yes, to living as Paige guided us to living from your heart and learning how to use this as a compass to guide you in the most magical divine way. Which one are you, my friends? Are you here because of number one, you wanna change your health? Are you here because of number two, because you wanna change your relationships and how you're reacting? Or are you here because of number three, because you wanna live your dream? Tell us in the comments, which one are you? Are you number one, health, number two, relationships and how you're reacting, or three? You're number one, Jasper Eats. Good job, you wanna change your health. M. Torres wants to change relationships. Wow, all, Pam, all three of them, they're flying in. Awesome, Dalila. Number three, you wanna live your dream, Casey. The dream is waiting for you. The dream is here for you, Norma. That's so awesome. Here's the thing, whatever your motivation for being here right now, we fully support you. Yeah. We are here for you and the purpose of us all coming together right now, you could be anywhere, is to support you for why you're here. Peggy, number two, Jen, number two, awesome. Angela, number two, your relationships and your dream, love it. You know, so for those of, uh, those of you that don't really know who we are, you know, you're just getting to meet us. We'd like to introduce us and uh, ourselves and, and share a little bit about ourselves. Hey, Mary, start on the left with that gorgeous picture of you and your family. Oh, I love all these pictures. So that's me and my kiddos over there on the left. My son, Ethan, is 19. And then my three gorgeous daughters, Emma, Ava, and Mia. And of course, our little doggy, Penny Lane. We are just hanging out by the pool last Mother's Day uh, here in sunny and hot Texas. And you are Beatles fans. So I we are Beatles fans. <laughs> love it. Penny Lane. Penny Lane. So and, and Sharon, that gorgeous picture uh, in the middle on the top, tell us what's going on there. Oh, I'd love to, Dr. Darren. This is my family, um, my four children and my eight grandchildren. And we just did this photo at Thanksgiving. Uh, this is on the coast of North Carolina at Thanksgiving. We're not often all together, but when we are, those are magical moments, some of my favorite times. And this is the family at Thanksgiving. Oh, beautiful. And Paige, just below that picture, I see three shining people. Yes, my favorite people on the planet. This was a picture of me and my siblings, my older brother, my younger sister, at the highest spot in Thailand a few years ago, we had celebrated my birthday here and it was rainy. We were in the forest at the King's Temple and we had an absolute poncho party and it was pure bliss. <laughs> oh, how fun. And over on the 